want to talk about building a website and why it's important for photographers to have their own place to share their best work. Now I'm going to use Wix today because, well, they offered to pay me to make this video and I think they have the best looking and easiest to use tools of anyone out there right now. But honestly, the advice I'm going to give in this video, you can take it and use it on whatever platform suits you best. But before we get into the details of actually building it, let's talk about why. Why as photographers, or whatever you call yourself, should you have your own piece of the internet? Maybe you've already got a big following on Instagram or a lovely set of galleries on Flickr. The problem with those spaces is you don't own them. Tomorrow, Instagram could insert advertising in between each of your images, change the algorithm so that your feed gets buried. Flickr, well, Flickr could be totally sold to some other company and could go completely out of business and you've got no control over that. I think it's good to use those services, but I believe it is important to have your own place where you set the rules of display and what surrounds your images. If you want people to take you seriously, you need your own space. Sharing your Instagram with potential clients it's kind of like living out of your car and inviting your girlfriend's parents over for dinner. It's not the best idea. Let's do a quick brainstorming session of what I think a good photography website or a photographer's website should look like. And this is how I want mine and I think yours should look. I know I want an attractive landing page that's going to share some of my recent favorite images in a big, beautiful way. That's also going to give my viewers easy access to see more of my images and or to learn a little bit more about me, the person behind the camera. And I'd like a blog to be part of this site. It gives people a reason to come back to see what I'm up to, to see my thoughts behind images, or to see my thoughts on current photography events. And as a photographer covering events from time to time, it'd be nice to have a special access section of my site so that those clients can access their work. Now, one more thing before we get started. This is a website where you should share your very best images. Keep in mind, less is more. I know you've got tons of beautiful flower photos or photos from a recent vacation and you want to share all of those. Find your very best and share only those. All right, let's get to work. I'm in the Wix site manager and I'm just going to create a new site from scratch, show you just how easy it is. It asks you what kind of website do you want to create. You have all of these options to start with. All it's really doing is getting an idea and then suggesting some templates. Now, you want a trippy experience. Select start with the Wix artificial design intelligence. It just takes over, asks you a few questions and builds you a pretty beautiful website very simply. I want a little bit more control. So I'm going to go over to the Wix editor and we're going to start. We can start with one of these photography templates or we can do a blank template. I really like this nice clean design right down here. If we want to check it out a little bit more, we can view, but I'm going to hit edit. It loads up this template for me, ready for me to start working. Now, I already sketched out my design. I have the idea. And this is very similar to kind of what we, the options already presented to us. One thing though is I like the clean design, but I also currently like that ability to set a gigantic image as the background. So I'm going to click over here in the background and I'm just going to say change page background. One of the things that's really cool is you can set videos as a background. Now, I think that's distracting in a lot of cases. You got to be really careful about that. But as a content creator, it really does allow you to showcase your work and, and there's some slick things that you can do. I've got these time lapses from shooting the Aurora in Alaska and let's just try one real quick and we can hit preview and there it is running. This is just like a 30 second video and kind of loops over and over again. That's pretty slick. Let's go back to the editor. And as I said, it's a little bit distracting. So let's change that background. Let's go to something a little bit simpler, a nice image. Uh, I haven't uploaded that nice image I have in mind yet. So one of the things I've done a lot of the pre-work already in finding the images that are going to work for me. And I've got this background. I think that's nice. I like that dark kind of tree line and then the mountains and just it's 
it's it's very pretty it speaks to me and it's a little grainy but I don't mind that all right let's get my actual images in here so this is a slide deck gallery anything let's delete it anything that you want to add on your page you can find under the add button we've got all of these different options tons and tons of options but under gallery you can see I know one of the complaints of using a site like Wix is that people feel that their site's going to be kind of cookie cutter looking and, and look like everybody else's. But with so many different options, you really can pick one that works for you and sets your site apart. And it's all so customizable that uh, it really shouldn't look like anybody else's unless you want it to. So I've dragged out the same thing, just showing you how easy it is. I'm just going to kind of fill this space here. This is just the recommended space. Notice everything adjusts nicely to kind of fit that space. Uh, and uh, let's click and say change these images. I'm going to use just a few of my very favorite images. Uh, I've already uploaded some, so let's just pick some of these images out of here that I just really like and I think uh, help me stand out as a photographer. I think that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six images. Sure, why don't we throw in this guy? He's pretty as well. And the zebra butts too, maybe. In case somebody sits on this page for a little bit longer. So there they are. Uh, let's get rid of these other ones here. And I can set alternate text for these. I can describe them. I can make them link somewhere. I'm going to leave that all as is for right now and just say done. Now I do want it to play automatically, so let's go into the settings and we can choose how to make it play, including a play button, but I want it to auto, oops, auto play on loading. There's no music associated with this. This is just a slideshow of images, so that shouldn't bother anybody. How long between images? Let's shorten it just a little bit. I think 1.6 is good. Uh, you can choose whether they should be auto cropped in there, uh, whether they should be changed to fit. Yeah, let's do change to fit to make sure uh, that we don't have any weird croppings, although you would be best off setting these all a certain aspect ratio prior. Let's say they want to crossfade, and how long should that crossfade last? Let's make that a little bit shorter too. That all looks pretty good. I'm going to close that, and you know I want to work on the design of this, customize the design. See this gray area here? I want that. To go away. So it sits within this design. The images will uh, move through one after the other. I think that looks pretty good. Let's do a quick preview. There they are. My images looking nice on the space. But I don't know about the black and white on the black and white, but you know what? We can fix that. I could take the black and whites out. Let's change this text. I have to spell my name right. And it got squeezed a little bit. So we could make it text smaller or we could just kind of shove it over a little bit and we can just move the uh, menu over. It's just so very easy to work with all of these different pieces. Uh, as somebody who's built websites from scratch, this is really nice to be able to do this. So as I said in the design, I wanted this kind of home page that people land on an about page. Let's go edit the about page now. So we go here to the about page and uh, here's, let's change this image. I've already uploaded a nice image of me. Let's see how that looks in that space. It doesn't really fit. So we can hit this crop button. And within this space now, we can make that change. Could also shrink it down a little bit if we wanted. Uh, not more than that in this case because it's trying to be full width, but let's Let's get rid of that and let's just kind of move it over here to the side. Oops. And I already have a text about text, so I'm just going to copy that and paste it in there. And I want to make sure that that is. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I could make this text, there's so much you can do to the text. I could make this text spacing wise, uh, 
customize it and just kind of space that out a little bit. Maybe make it a tiny bit bigger too. That's right. So I've got my about page. That looks good. Now this is called portraits. Let's go back over here and we have this little dot dot dot. I personally think I'm going to create a portfolio page. So let's rename this. And then on that portfolio page, I will create sub pages of some of the different galleries that I like. So we actually don't need the fashion. We can just get rid of it. Client showcase, I mentioned, we're going to want that down the road. But for now, we don't need that. So we're just going to hide it. It disappears from the menu. It's still there. It's all good. And the book online, we might want that later. But again, for right now, let's just hide it. So we don't have to deal with that as well. All right, let's go to my portfolio page. And uh, this is not my work, so let's clean this out and this out. And really, what I want to do here is I want to stick an image that's going to represent one of the galleries that I want to create. So I'm going to go to Image, I'm going to click My Image, and I really like this owl right now. So I'm going to get the owl, add them to the page. This is going to be a button, so he can be a lot smaller. And I'm going to stick them up here. I'm going to use that crop tool again move them over and center them within that image. And now, as again, I said, you can really customize the design of this. So the design of this image, it, all it is right now is an image, it's not a button, but you can change so much about it. And let's say you don't even like, uh, you like the drop shadow, but you really wish the top corner was rounded, just the top corner. Well, we can come into the corner section, unlink them, let's put, 75 in there and suddenly we've got a nice little corner rounded owl and that can be a link we haven't made the page yet let's make the new page call it animals and i'm going to make it a, a sub page of portfolio so i've just dragged down and, and just by dragging to the right a little bit under there it becomes a sub page of portfolio so now I can click on this guy. I can say, where do we want to link it to? Animals. I'll show you one other thing that making it a sub page does. If we preview this page and we hover over portfolio, you can see that animals falls out. Now you can make an argument that that is a good thing. This menu needs a little bit of work, but uh, I, you know, I want people to land on the portfolio and to decide which galleries they want. So we come back over here we could simply just come into this section and we can hide from the menu. So it will now will not exist in the menu. It is still a page people could get to, uh, obviously, through my portfolio link. So back to the portfolio. Here it is. If we preview this page, we can click on the owl. And now we're on the animals page. So let's get back into the editor. On the animals page, let's add a gallery of animals. So again, there's all of these galleries, but if you like something even a little bit more than that, you have all of these apps within the Wix app marketplace, like the Pro Gallery. Some are free, some cost money. I'm gonna add this to the site, and it drops into the site, this kind of cool, big slide gallery. I like it, it's beautiful, I think it's pretty snazzy. I'm gonna hit Manage Media, I'm going to add some media images and I'm going to find my animal pictures. These all look like animal pictures to me. I'm holding down shift to collect multiples at a time and the owl and the zebra. I already have those guys. So those are repeats. Looks good. I'm going to apply. And let's get rid of these that aren't mine. I want to add a few more images that I haven't uploaded yet. So I'm going to go get upload, go to my website folder, find the animals, and I think, what else do I have in here? These two, and this guy, and this guy? Is that it? Looks about right. I'm going to hit open. So I don't need to wait for that. I can hit done. 
and still have to wait here. It's pretty cool. This is a big, beautiful display of your images. It'd be nice to know where people are on this page. We should add that, but I'm going to hit preview again. And of course, some of them are a little small. Click on them and you get that larger view. And you can navigate through a slideshow of images and you can, of course, close it. And you can go back to the portfolio page. So let's go back to our editor. Let's show you one more thing. I'm not going to fully uh, make you watch me create every portfolio page. But I'm just going to right click, have all of these options as well, duplicate, bring it over, and uh, change the image. Let's make this my gallery about people. Do I have a people image in here yet? Uh, we can use, let's use this lady. That will work nicely. And of course, we need the crop tool again. Kind of fit her in that space a little bit better. And what if I need to, what if I want to label these underneath so it makes a little bit sense? Everybody should know exactly where every link and everything they click on, where it's going to go. So we can just drag a little small heading underneath here. Call it animals. And of course, we could center. Let's duplicate. I love how everything snaps. Those purple lines are the snaps. People, now we'll do a travel one as well. It's pretty nice, looks good. The menu needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna be doing some other work additionally to it, but let's, let's make sure our social links are all up to date. We've got Twitter in there. And one of the things that's pretty slick is anything in this space, this is the footer space or the header space, automatically propagates across all of your pages. So, you know, we're advertising for Wix on our site. If you're paying them, you really don't need to do that. So let's just delete that. And we could add a little email link down there. We could add nothing at all. Let's just get rid of it completely. And let's go check the home page and see if it's gone there as well. And it is. Uh, we can make that change to that change page background. We can apply it to the other pages automatically if we would like to do that. We can decide all pages out here or just the ones that we select. Let's go ahead and say all of them and close it. And now let's try changing to a different page real quick. See how that looks on a portfolio page. Uh, might be a little strong. So I think I would like to draw in here a little square. But we have a couple other things that I think that people should do on this site. I'll be back to talk about those very soon. We want to add a blog so that we give people a reason to come back and check it out again. We want to make sure that there's a good way to contact us. A simple little form field works very nicely on the contact page. And we talked about giving our clients an access area that's private just to them. So not everybody is seeing all of the images you create for these events. You really want to carefully curate what the public sees. All of that is very possible within the Wix editor and it's quite easy. So I'll be back to show you those. I'm gonna put the link to this finished site right down below. I wanna see your sites though. I'm gonna be looking for what I think is the best showcase of your images. I'll be giving that a shout out on a future video and I'll be pinning it in the comments. So make sure you pop your URL down below. I'll be looking for those. If you found this helpful, give it a quick thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my site and see how I finished it up and polished it and leave your recommendations for what else it should have. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.